do, I'm not having as much sex as I'd like to. <laughs> but also, I don't really know if it's healthy to have as much sex as I'd like to. <laughs> but I, I would kind of like that to be my choice. <laughs> I really would. I'm, I'm annoyed by the fact that I don't get to choose. I think generally that's a thing women don't understand about men, is that we don't get a choice in the matter. And it's very sad. There's no danger to our lives, just sad. <laughs> we just get given a portion. My portion got way smaller when I moved here. I'm not, I'm not blaming the West, by the way. This is what happened. I moved here right, like, right when I changed age brackets. I'm like in my 30s now. And one of my big theories in life is that every personality type kind of gets to have like good decades and bad decades. And I'm sort of thinking that I might not be good at sex in my 30s. <laughs> like I, do, I enjoyed my I enjoyed my twenties. I'm probably gonna enjoy my fifties, but I think I need to wait out my thirties. The problem I have is I don't want a relationship, and I've been telling that to people. And apparently, it's not cool to be a dude in your thirties and not want a relationship. I found out society doesn't accept that. You, you, can, you can say that in your twenties. People go, that guy's having fun. Good for him. <laughs> You can say that in like your 50s. People go, that guy knows what he wants out of life. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, if you say that in your 30s, everybody just sort of assumes that you can't grow up. I can't, I'm an adult. I know what I want out of life. They think what I want, I sort of want to live like the divorce lifestyle without ever having made that mistake in the first <laughs> Just skip 20 years of hardship. I can maybe go on a cruise in my 70s. Why so I give the money to a lawyer when I can give it to a cruise company? I'm still, I'm still dating. But then what's happening? Like in a, now, as, a, as I'm approaching sex, I'm kind of like getting anxious about it. You know, it's brave of me to bring that up. I'm one of them brave comedians. But yeah, honestly, I'm getting anxious around sex now. I think I know how that is. I have a theory. I don't mean to generalize. I'm just kind of talking from like my life experience. But honestly, I think that this is what bothers me about sex, uh, especially like in the last couple of years. This is what bothers me. I tend to feel that uh, men are kind of creepy, <laughs> like uh, before sex, and, and then women are kind of creepy after sex. <laughs> And honestly, like a lot of what I've been noticing. <laughs> but honestly, like a lot of times in my lifetime, after I've had sex, the woman kind of made me feel like she didn't really want to have sex. <laughs> like she was just sort of doing it so she can spend time with me after that. <laughs> honestly, I think she was only fucking me so she can ruin my Sunday. <laughs> women have sex for the sake of having sex too, but not with me. <laughs> I, I don't really have like a fuck boy body. I have a boyfriend body, but I have a fuck boy personality. <laughs> it's just that my personality doesn't match what society expects out of my body type. I, I think society wants my body type to love. <laughs> and I just sort of want to talk. <laughs> it's very annoying, honestly. I've been thinking about my sex life a lot lately. But like all the sex I've had ever in my lifetime, it's all been because of my personality. All of it. I don't know, call me a dreamer. <laughs> but I really tend to want that when I'm using my penis, that to be because of my penis. <laughs> Why is that an absurd thing to want? When I'm talking to you guys, when I'm talking to my friends, I want that to be because of my personality. <laughs> but when I'm using the dick, I need that to be because of my dick. <laughs> So I'm not, and here I'm not enjoying sex. I find it sort of disingenuous. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, my favorite part about sex is to be uh, dirty talking. I still love that. Just kind of letting my mouth go in the middle of sex and seeing where it goes. 
I, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to yell out in the middle of this. Yes, did, you, did you enjoy how I told that story? <laughs> <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> and then did you like how I listened to your story? <laughs> did I ask all the correct questions? <laughs> Of my dick, so they can enjoy my beautiful personality. <laughs> and I'm not having it anymore. I'm taking the dick off the market. <laughs> I, I don't think women can be trusted by it. It's a too sensitive of no object, and women just don't understand it. Anyway, I'm sorry to say, but I really just want to find women disgusting. <laughs> is, not all women, the ones I've been in a relationship with. <laughs> get it. Like, what is it sort of about me, like, being nice to, like, your brother that makes you want to give me a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just get a blowjob because of my dick? <laughs> Do we have to involve your family? <laughs> no, you can get a blowjob now and the next one after you meet my father. <laughs> 